Hello and welcome to the Wednesday, July 17th, 2024 edition of the Sands and its Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from Washington, D.C. First of all, thanks everybody who attended the talk today here in Washington at Sands Fire. Not sure when or if the talk will be made available as a recording, but I'll leave the link to the landing page up for a while. And maybe within this week or so, I should hear whether or not a recording will be made available. Jan today wrote up an interesting reply chain uh, phishing email, as he calls this particular technique. You probably have seen these sort of fake replies to email messages. Now, Jan is suggesting here that in the particular case that uh, he's discussing, that the reply part, uh, where this looks like a reply to, to a message, which and the message itself also includes what appears to be prior emails sort of of that entire uh, email uh, conversation is mostly intended to fool automated phishing and spam detection tools. The actual recipient of the message, the actual human, is not to actually supposed to see these prior messages because, well, they would tip them off that these prior messages are completely unrelated to the primary part of the message. So what the attacker did here is to actually include a large number of empty lines between the primary message and these fake replies. That way the automated tools will see the fake replies. They'll consider it as part of their spam or phishing detection algorithm consider the email more legit, while the victim, the human who would actually be tipped off by these sort of random messages will not see these replies, but just in this case, a DocuSign message tricking them to click on the link and land on a phishing page. An infrastructure security company, Clarity, published two interesting blog posts with details regarding vulnerabilities that they exploited as part of the Pwn to Own competition last year. Now, this is not breaking news, and these Pwn to Own exploits are usually kept under embargo until they're being patched. So that's why there's a little bit of delay in actually publishing all the details. Nevertheless, I think uh, these exploits are pretty interesting because they're not sort of your run of the mill kind of router exploits and IP camera exploits. The first blog post covers a TP link router and how they achieved essentially remote code execution on this device, bypassing ASLR and taking advantage of a vulnerable dynamic DNS service that is installed on these devices. The second blog post also talks about a buffer overflow exploit. In this case, it's a Synology IP camera that is being exploited. So it's not really your standard uh, kind of OS command injection or some of these other often trivial to exploit uh, web application vulnerabilities, but something a bit more technical that required additional knowledge and quirks in order to completely exploit the affected devices. And yes, again, patches are available for affected devices, which again is why the publication of this blog post was somewhat delayed. And security company Sansec did publish a blog post with details about a wave of attacks currently targeting Adobe Commerce or Magento. Magento being just the older name of the product and the vulnerability being exploited here is called Cosmic Sting, according to Sansec, and it's a vulnerability in the Magento REST API that does allow reading arbitrary files. These arbitrary files include an encryption key that is being used to sign JSON web tokens. And once an attacker has this encryption key, they're able to create their own JSON web tokens, authenticating them with administrative access to the API. 
They are currently saying that uh, as part of their forensics practice, uh, they're seeing three to five hacked websites per hour, given that they're all e-commerce stores, so there's uh, some more value behind them. And uh, they consider 75% of Adobe Commerce stores vulnerable or being threatened by this particular attack. So if you're using Adobe Commerce, double check that everything is up to date and not already compromised. Well, and that's it for today. So thanks again for listening and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.